Okay, Dr. Azura Abdul Hamid hails from East Coast Terengganu, graduated with medical doctor degree in 2000 and obtained uh, her master in pathology, hematology in 2010, both from University Kebangsaan Malaysia. She has worked in several MOH hospital in various states, including at Hospital Raja Perempuan Zainab II in Kota Baru, HSNZ in Kuala Terengganu, PPUKM, HKL Hospital Sultan Ismail Johor Bahru and now in Hospital Kajang. She has co-authored two publications and involved in several quality assurance projects where she and her team have won quality assurance in oral category during Carnival Innovasi with title of Reducing Rejection of GSH GSM due to hemolysis in Blood Bank Hospital Kajang in 2013 and she was awarded as first runner-up for Best QA Poster Category for Quality Assurance in Carnival J Innovasi JKNS in 2016 with a poster title entitled Reducing the Percentage of Aspired Red Blood Cells in Transfusion Unit Hospital Kajang. She also co-authored a case report that won second place during 8th National Transfusion Medicine Conference in 2018 with the title, Is It My Baby? A Case Report of d Mother and Baby. And not apart from that, Dr. Azura initiated POCT in Emergency and Trauma Department and Medical Department in Hospital Kajang in late September 2013. From there, she and her team conducted POCT workshop on early, on yearly basis. Jatan Kuasa POCT Hospital Kajang was finally established in 2015 to coordinate, to coordinate and monitor the POC, POCT use in Hospital Kajang. Dr. Azra also initiated study on maximum blood ordering schedule, MSBOS, in 2012 until 2013, and the first edition of MSBOS was launched in 2014. Whilst the second edition were published in 2019 together with the Handbook of Pathology Services. Dr. Azra also started a massive transfusion protocol in Hospital Kaja in 2014, where the study of massive hemorrhage, hemorrhage was done the previous years 2013, and the data was presented together with planned flowchart. Review of MTP show massive success in which the mortality rate was drastically improve over time despite no significant changes on type of cases received. She also started patient blood management program and training in Hospital Kajan since 2016. And Dr. Azura also was awarded with Excellent Service Award in Hospital Kajan in 2013 and 2021 and Excellent Worker Award in 2019 during Perimpunan Hospital, Hospital Anjuran JKNS. She now is uh, spearheading the Committee for Hematology a pathology competency at national level and currently serve as head of department of hospital kajang since 2012 and not just that she also uh, published in numeral numerous um, journals and publication uh, including the articles um, abstract in international conferences so uh, without further ado i would like to present to you uh, dr azura abdul hamid Assalamualaikum and thank you Dr. Dr. Omaima for the kind introduction. I'm sorry it's taken you all too long. <laughs> Do not my resume, I should make it shorter. So uh, I'm going to talk on this ABO blood group system. Uh, may I know um, what year are you all in? What faculty is this Dr. Omaima? Uh, faculty of Science and Marine Environment. Year, what year? A uh, second year and final year, and the third year. Second year, okay. Okay, so we can start now. Okay, I'll share the slides. Right. Uh, you can see me, right? Because I cannot see myself. <laughs> I'm not so sure. You can see me, is it? Because it's uh, all dark. Yeah, yeah, is that also? Oh, I do not know because uh, I thought my husband said we can have a video on this uh, laptop. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. Okay, maybe my my son will do something. Okay, we can start now, is it? Yes, please. Okay, so, um, okay, next slide. I'm from Hospital Kajang. Okay, next slide. 
So this is the outline of my lecture. Uh, we will go into introduction, the development and aging, the genetic and expression of ABO antigen, ABO subgroup, ABO antibodies, routine ABO testing, and then we go into ABO compatibility. Next. Okay, so we go into ABO system. So for introduction, so ABO blood group was first discovered over 100 years ago by Carl and Steiner. And not only it made transfusion became more safer, but scientists could now study one of the first human characteristics proven to be inherited. So a person blood ABO group was used by lawyer in paternity suit, by police in forensic science, and by anthropologists in the study of different populations. You know, they want to study whether this uh, blood group A what is the function of it, you know, and any, any differences in, in, uh, in disease or whatnot. Uh, so the ABO blood group antigen remain the prime important in transfusion medicine as they are one of the most immunogenic of all blood group antigen. Next. So as I informed before, as uh, stated before, it's uh, described by Carl and Steiner in 1900. The ABO antigen are found in substantial amount on red cell and to lesser extent to platelets. This antigen can also be found in body fluid in individual with secretor phenotype. You know, you have to have secretor genes. Yeah, if you watch a CSI movie, sometimes we, you know, to catch the, uh, the murderer, we can have some clues on the scene, in scene, and we can test this. I'm sorry. ABO antigen are also expressed in many other tissue, such as endothelium cells that line your blood vessel, a kidney, heart, bowel, pancreas, and lung. These are the reason why this antigen also constitute a relative barrier against ABO incompatible organ transplantation. That's why if you want to donate a uh, heart or kidney, you know, they look at your ABO blood group because it's mm -hmm. possible to have uh, compatible ABO group. You do not want to have, let's say you are the recipient, you are O blood donor, but you have A, you, you as a recipient, you are O, but you have donor that is uh, A. So this A, they have, so as O recipient, you have anti A, you have anti B. So when this heart, the heart can have, you know, A and the heart can have this ABO antigen, they have A antigen. So your body will you know, react with the heart and it can lead to a uh, graft rejection, you know. So these are the things. Okay, next. So the ABO system, uh, ISB, International Society of Blood Transfusion, uh, coded is a uh, number as 001, the first blood group in the system. So it contains four major ABO groups. We have A, B, O and AB blood groups. The phenotypes are determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, whether you have A or B on the red cell. Also char characterized by the presence and absence of naturally occurring antibody, isohemagglutinin directed against A and B antigen. So the inverse relationship exists between the presence of A and B antigen on red cell and the presence of the uh, isohemagglutinin is what we, we refer to as Lanstein rule. I will uh, describe it later. Okay, next. As I said before, if you can see here, if you are blood group type A, you have A antigen on your red cell, but in your plasma, you will have plasma, you have anti B because you have naturally occurring antibody that is directed against the antigen that is not on your red cell. You know, so A have anti B. B have anti A, A B they have both antigens, so they don't have antibodies. So uh, type O, O is an amorph. Amorph means that they don't have antigen, so they have anti A and anti B. Okay, these are the rule. Next. So for ABO development. Uh, ABO antigen can be detected on red cell of embryo as early as five to six weeks of gestation. Adult level of ABO expression are generally present by age of two to four years. The anti-A and anti-B are not present at birth or by 
if present, they are of maternal origin. That's why in hospital, in neonates, we do not ask for their, uh, for neonate serum or plasma. We just uh, took the baby, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, whole blood, we took the, uh, the blood, we test for antigen, but not for the antibodies. Antibody is from the mother. Unless the mother is not there, then we test the baby. But whatever antibody the baby have is from the mother, whether it passed through the placenta, Okay, cross through the placenta. Synthesis of NTA and NTB can develop as early as three to six months. With nearly all children displaying isohemagglutinin at, in their sera, sera is serum eh, at one year of age. Uh, sera and plasma. Plasma is uh, the fluid in your body. You know, it's uh, do not coagulate. But sera, we explain when the whole blood is in vitro, is in the tube. When you have, uh, when your blood in plain tube, you call it serum because it's already co coagulate. Okay, titers of NTA and NTB continue to increase during early childhood, and they achieve adult levels within five to ten years. Next, okay. Now, genetic a bit on genetics. So actually, when you are A, you know. Uh, blood group A, actually what the genetic is, actually um, you encodes a specific glycos, glycosyl transferase for, that synthesize A and B antigen on the RBC. It's not actually you have that A antigen straight away, no. It just codes for the enzyme. So this enzyme uh, will react on a precursor called H antigen. H antigen is then, because of this enzyme, it will change it. Uh, if it's a allele, it will, it will change it to N acetyl galactose amine. This is the immunodominant sugar on uh, blood group A. And B allele encodes an enzyme that produces a B antigen, that is the immunodominant sugar is D galactose. Okay? So the all allele, all actually is, uh, actually when Carl Lutzsteiner uh, 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 found this, discovered this, it, we it call it Ohni, Ohni or German for nothing lah, you know, nothing. So it's an amorph, it's, it, uh, it has encode an enzyme with no function, so it produces neither A or B, so the, the, uh, the H antigen is not changed. Okay, next. Okay, look at the genetics a little bit. Yeah, if in the mother you have A allele and the father A, A with A, you know, you produce your offspring will be A, but A with B, A, B, A with O, O is amorph, A, you know, but genetically you are A, O. B, A, B with A is A, B, B with B is B, B with O, again, the B wings, and O with A, again, O is not is amorph so you have a o with b b and o with o is o so this is the probability of getting an offspring blood group next okay uh although the abo blood group antigen are regarded as rbc antigen they are actually expressed on wide variety of human tissues and are present on most epithelial and endothelial cells each human RBC expresses about 2 million of ABO blood group antigen. So they're not only on red blood cell. They're only, like I said before, on your heart, on your uh, kidney, on your endothelial cell. So, you know, you have all these cells that also have this A and A, B or O, A, B or A, B antigen. A number of illnesses can alter a person's ABO phenotype. You know, like patient, especially babies, or, or adult that uh, during necrotizing infection in which bacteria release enzyme recyclate that convert A1 antigen into B like antigen. So when the patient came to you, you may see this discrepancy on the test in which you have like uh, B like antigen, but the reverse you have like anti. If A, you should have anti B, but you cannot have this like discrepancy. So you know that patient have. B acquired, you know, B acquired antigen because of the disease. If you treat the disease later on, you know, it's going to be like straightforward A, A blood group. So in this patient, you cannot give B blood group. It's, you know, it will cause hemolytic reaction. So you have to give A. So the blood bankers, we are trained to see this discrepancy and to resolve them. Now, illness can also cause patient to lose ABO blood group antigen. Okay, next. 
um, I will touch a little bit on subgroup, okay? Um, APO subgroup are phenotypes that differ in the amount of A and B antigen carried on by cells and present in secretion, you know, for the secretor phenotype. Clinically, two most common subgroups are A1 and A2. You know, the, the, the people that you have that have A, A blood group, actually 80% of them are A1. Then 20% of them is A2. A1 is characterized by approximately five times more A antigen epitope per red cell compared to A2. A2 is the second most common A subgroup, about 20%. But both A1 and A2 subgroup are strongly agglutinated by reagent anti A. So it's, it's a very easy to, you know, to, to detect them, A. But sometimes the A1, they can have, uh, no, the A2 can have anti A1, you, you know. So, but it's a cold antibody, so it, it, it's not clinically significant. So don't worry, blood bankers are trained in this. Next. Now, talking about antibodies to ABO blood group system antigen. We have, uh, naturally, you know, some of you, you if you are, in, you are A blood group, you have anti-B. If you are A, uh, B blood group, you have anti-A. So uh, for, for us, you know, immunoglobulin M, IgM, is the predominant isotype found in the blood group A and B individual. In blood group O, IgG is the major isotype of NTA and NTB. As a consequence, the incidence of ABO hemolytic disease of newborn is higher among the offspring of O mothers than uh, mothers of other blood group because IgG can cross placenta, but IgM cannot. IgM is very big. You know, I'm sure that you have learned before IgM, uh, how do IgM look like? So it's very big, it cannot cross placenta, but IgG can. So that's why, uh, when a baby, you know, born, they can have pathological jaundice. Pathological jaundice meaning to, to say that usually the baby uh, uh, hemoglobin, uh, uh, when they are born, you know, very high. So they have this physiology hemolysis. But because of they have hemolytic disease of newborn in which their mother antibody cross the placenta and, uh, and react with their cell because the mother is blood group O, they have IgG, NTA, NTB, let's say the baby is a blood group, so the, uh, they got the baby has uh, A antigen, so it can react, so it can cause hemolysis. So the baby has pathological jaundice, only within 27, uh, 24 hours of life, they can have this jaundice and it can be high. So uh, high uh, um, hyperbilirubinemia in baby in early onset is uh, quite dangerous. It can cross the brain, it can, can cause uh, mental retardation. So the pediatrician need to act fast to treat this, uh, to investigate this, you know, and give treatment. Okay, next. NTA and NTB again. Both IgM and IgG, NTA and NTB, preferentially uh, agglutinate rate cell at room temperature, 20 to 24. You know, this is, uh, you know, lah, Mak Salem, 20 to 24. Or cooler. And bukan Malaysia punya uh, room temperature, yeah? or cooler, and both can efficiently activate complement at 37. Uh, the uh, complement mediated lytic capability of this antibody are more apparent if serum testing include incubation phase at 37. You know, this, what I'm explaining is actually test. Okay. Um, when you have, because uh, uh, in the lab, you have, you know, you have this uh, mother's blood group, uh, uh, you have uh, mother's blood group, and then uh, you look at, or, or patient blood group, and you look, and you look at it. So it, if it's at room temperature, it can agglutinate, or, but it also can activate complement at 37. If you activate complement, then you can have this lytic capability. Uh, so uh, you have to incubate at 37, it's like, kita punya apa nama, body temperature lah, 37. So, hemolysis caused by ABO intubated should be suspected when, uh, kita kena suspect when supernatum serum is pink uh, or to red or the cell button is small or absent. Usually, for us to say that something's happened, you know, when there is a reaction, whether it's agglutination or hemolysis. If hemolysis, meaning to say that we cannot see the agglutination uh, no more, but it's hemolyzed. So hemolyzed, uh, the supernatant, the supernatant is the upper part of the uh, tube, will look pinkish. Yeah. The use of plasma for testing or reagent cells suspended in DTA prevent complement activation and hemolysis. So we cannot see in a patient that we collect the blood tube, uh, uh, we collect their, uh, their, their blood in DTA, we cannot see this hemolysis. Okay, next. 
Sera from a group O individual contain an antibody specificity known as anti-AB because this reactive with both A and B is not anti-A or anti N anti B, it's anti-AB because why? Um, after they have done reabsorption and whatnot, they found out that uh, it cannot be separated, uh, suggesting that the antibody recognize a common appetite shared by both A and B antigen. And that's why RSVT acknowledged AB as a third antigen of ABO system. Not only A and B, there's AB as well. Okay, next. Um, routine testing for ABO. So if you want to donate blood, they have to type your blood. You know, usually they have like tiles, you know, and they, they, they look at the forward grouping of your blood. Okay, forward meaning to say that uh, your red cell is there and they put NTA and NTB and some uh, RH as well. So they want to know whether if there is agglutination with the NTA, meaning that you have A antigen and your RH, if, if agglutination, so A positive. Uh, we do not do forward. And we do not do reverse on tile method because we cannot have your uh, upper number, uh, plasma, uh, plasma or sera is there. Okay. Recipient sample are typed before temperature. This is a recipient sample we type in the hospital. ABO grouping require both antigen typing of red cell for A and B. This is what we call forward. Now forward to this summer. If you found A here, meaning to say that your blood group is A. But and Typing for the red cell and also screening of serum or plasma for the presence of MTA, ATB, isohem agglutinin. This is what we call reverse because it will be uh, uh, opposite to your antigen. You do not have the same antibody. Let's say you have A antigen, you cannot have anti-A. <laughs> then you are destroying yourself too. If you are A antigen, you have, should have anti-B. If you are B, you have anti-A. It's opposite. If you are O, you don't have any antigen, you have anti-A and anti-B. AB, you have both antigens, so you do not have antibody. Okay, next. So I explain in this, this is forward and reverse grouping. For forward, we test for cell. I mean, we want to know what blood group are you. We want to test for the antigen because the antigen sit on the cell. So we use the commercial anti-A and anti-B. We use non-antibody. If there is a reaction meaning to have that, your red cell have if it's anti-A, meaning to say that your red cell have A antigen. So with B, you do not have serum. Serum is a fluid, you know, fluid after in vitro in the plain tube, we call it serum. So we use non-cell, commercial. This is commercial. We use A cell, A1 cell, RBC, B cell. So we knew the A cell. If you have antibody towards A cell, then uh, we have reaction here. But... You know, you, you cannot learn anti, anti discrepancy. So you have A antigen and you have anti B. So it react and your anti B react with B red cell. So it will be opposite, because inverse relationship. That's what we call it. So this is blood group A. For B type, you will react, your cell will react with anti B and you will have anti A. So your antibody will react with uh, A1 red blood cell. And if you are AB antigen, you AB blood group, you react with both anti-A and anti-B because on your red cell, you have both A and B antigen, but you do not have any antibodies. But if you are O, you do not have any antigen, but you have both antibody, anti-A and anti-B. So commercially, yes, we uh, use co blue color for anti-A and B, we use um, yellow color. This is because, you know, blood bank, there is risk of um, error in doing things so that's why they do it in this color but actually but actually the content is not blue lah. you know the content is still up and I'm clear you know so it's just that uh, uh, because we don't want uh, the MLT medical lab technologies to um, cannot defer which one you know okay next okay so these are the usual uh, forward and reverse grouping. You know, this is usually we will re uh, we have a panel here O cell. Why we have O cell? Because we want to detect. We want to detect Bombay. Now this is out of your uh uh, uh a module, but uh, Bombay phenotype is the one that they have 
anti-age, you know, immune anti-age or natural uh, anti-age, which is very strong, and they do not compatible with any uh, any uh, blood group except themselves, you know, a Bombay. So uh, okay, but we look at A first. Eh? No, it's, it's not A. So anti-A is not here. Anti-B, uh, there is no reaction. So most likely O. Right, blood group O because there is no antigen, but they are they have anti A, they have anti B, they do not react with O cell, so they are O antigen. Okay, uh, if there is reaction with A, th this is why we call this forward grouping. If it's no reaction for both, zero, lah, you know, so it's O antigen, but they need to have both a uh, reactivity anti A, anti B. But if there is a reaction with anti A, so this is forward, so you go by this. You have A antigen, you must have anti B. Uh, they inverse, you know, inverse. You cannot have anti A, no. So this A. So it follow the forward. If there is reaction with anti B, it's B antigen, so it must be B. Correct? Uh, for the reverse grouping, he have anti A. So they, they inverse. If you have both, so A and B you have, so it's A B. Yes, A B blood group. So you don't have reaction at all. You don't have antibody with A or B cell. For Bombay, they have anti H, like I said, first time, can we have this uh, antigen, H antigen, which is, if you have, if you are A or B, you have a gene that code for glycosyl transferase, which convert this H antigen into whether uh, A or B, or none at all, like O. But for Bombay, they have anti H, so they react with O cell, because O cell has lots of H. Right, so they are Bombay. It's very rare. Million, one in million. You know, it first, as you can see, it first discovered in Bombay lah. Okay, next. Okay, so uh, a bit again uh, to make you understand. Okay, if you have you are A blood group, you have A antigen, you have anti B, your genotype whether A A A or A O from your father and mother. B, you have B antigen, but you have anti A, B, B, or B, O for your genotype. A, B, you have A and B antigen. You do not have any antibody. Your genotype is A, B. For O, blood group, you do not have any antigen, but you have anti A and anti B in your serums, plasma. Genotype is O, O. Okay, next. Next. So look at, uh, we want to know about the compatibility. So when a transfusion is given, it is preferably for patient to receive blood or plasma of the same blood group. However, if the required blood type is unavailable, a patient may be given a product as an alternative, but, but compatible. And it's as it's shown below. Let's say your blood group is A. So you want to give the same or you give O. This is pet cell, okay? Pet cell, because pet cell do not have a lot of plasma, also they do not have anti, anti A in, let's say it's O blood group. So, as we know, O is a universal donor, right? So, when you are A blood group, you want to receive A or second, second best is O, okay, O. If you are B, you want to receive B pet cell or O pet cell, this is second. If you are O, you can only receive O, you don't want to receive A, okay, or B. Because you have, in your body, you have anti-A, anti-B. If you give A for patient, then, then there's a hemolytic process will, will occur. If you are AB, give AB, A or B or O. It doesn't matter. Because they got a lot of antigen, they don't have antibody, so it doesn't matter which one, whichever comes. But for plasma, there's a difference. So the plasma, because they don't have the plasma, the plasma is only the free. They have uh, lots of anticoagulant inside there, but you know, basically plasma do not, we, uh, uh, you know, if pure plasma, they don't have cell. They have just protein. Uh, so it's okay. We can give A or AB because AB do not contain any antibody. So it can, you can give AB plasma to a, a, uh, a patient because they don't have antibody. So B or AB, O, A, B, AB. Because why? They don't have antigen, right? And, and they don't have antibody in this plasma, don't have antibody, so it's okay. But AB, only AB, right? They do not, uh, they do not want O because O got anti-A and anti-B, you know, it will, you know, destroy the AB and whatnot. So for platelet, platelet and O is about the same. Why? 
because platelet also have A and B antigen, but plasma, they don't have antigen, but they have antibodies. So you have to remember that. Okay, next. Next. So how to avoid ABO incompatible transfusion? So the routine practice of blood typing and cross-matching blood products should prevent adverse transfusion reaction caused by ABO antibody. However, the clerical error, clerical error, you know, typing error can result in the wrong blood being transfused into the patient, an error which can result in death of the patient. You now we have cases before. Now, if a patient who has blood group O is transfused with non group ORBC, the naturally occurring anti-A and anti-B in the recipient serum will bind to their corresponding antigen on the transfused RBC. This will lead to, you know, hemolytic, hemolytic reaction. This antibody will fix complement cause rapid intravascular rep hemolysis, triggering an acute hemolytic transfusion reaction that can cause disseminated intravascular coagulation, short and acute renal failure and death, even death. Okay, next. Uh, I think that's all uh, that, uh, that that's all that I can share with you all. Any question? Okay, I'm so sorry ask. about the video. I think my no, son. No uh, okay. There's always an, a technical error, Doctor Azra. Don't worry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's very short. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's very um, a good exposure to the students. Actually, I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of. Uh, now today they can learn in uh, in per perspectives of the the medical officers that um, while handling uh, about the blood group typing and so on and so forth. So is there any question from members of the floor? Please do ask Dr Azura, our specialist hematology uh, specialist here. Or oh, you want to ask about your blood groups and whatnot? Have you all tested? Uh, tested, you know. Ah, uh, this is very interesting. <laughs> So actually, for for blood grouping, there is a lot of uh, blood group, you know, in the in the system. But uh, uh, for non blood banker, we only knew a few, right? The mm -hmm. ABO is the famous one, lah. But actually, yeah. it's more complex than that. But what what I teach you is just a just a tip of it, okay? Okay, before before okay, let me start first, Dr. Azura. Okay, mm -hmm. um, as we as you've been mentioned earlier that there are lots of like for example like babies normally in Malaysia or maybe in Asia that commonly, uh, had a sort of like jaundice. What is your comment? Is it because of the certain uh, environment that we are facing compared to the Westerners? Oh, uh, you are saying that we have jaundice? Is it? Uh, yeah. Is it most of the babies, I mean, born in, in Asia uh -huh. or in Malaysia, uh -huh. we have lots of jaundice cases, right? Is there any related with diets or our environment? Uh, not really, actually. Um, actually, I think in, in, uh, in Western countries, they also have jaundice. Is this a physiological? I mean, every, okay. ba uh, every babies, we, ha we go through this process. Uh, if you breastfeed, breastfeeding, is, uh -huh. uh, they say more increase, you know, uh, the, the, the hemolysis, uh, higher but then uh, what we want is for it not to reach the hem uh, pathological level if it's pathological then maybe they need treatment the babies need treatment uh, we have to send it to the uh, to the, uh, to the hospital for them to have this uv light you know because the uv light can uh, th that is the treatment lah, to change that uh, the, all the pigment in there because we don't want it to be high to cross uh, into the blood vein barrier and cause connectors um, but I think it's common. All my babies yeah. have <laughs> hyperbilirubinemia at birth. Yeah, and not really at birth, like maybe day two, day three. If day one, they have hyperbilirubinemia at day one, then we call it a pathological jaundice. Oh, pathological mm -hmm. jaundice. All right, but thank you. I do not know okay. my mom, whether it's related to food or whatnot, but it mm. is, it's common. Okay, it's common. Uh, right. It's common, uh, but pathological because of ABO and also because of G6PD can also uh, be, but I think it's rare, like G6PD at birth. No, 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 not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but it can be if the mother is, but it's rare. What we yeah. saw more common, uh, uh, prolonged jaundice, we call it, uh, when the jaundice is beyond day 14. 
when oh. the, the jaundice is beyond day 40, we have to investigate. There are many causes, whether it's infection, uh, many other things, uh, hypothyroidism and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Uh, students, question, please take your chance to meet Dr. Azura. Come on, it's very difficult to get her, but Alhamdulillah, you are, we managed to get her today. Okay, are they from the chat room? Dr. Azura, I have a question. How does undergraduate student want to get into industry that involve the ABO group typing? What are the things that we can do in order to prepare ourselves for that? Uh, to get to the industry, meaning to uh, have care or, or uh, uh, lab, is it? Lab, involved with yeah. the ABO group typing lab, maybe, yeah. Mm, I think, uh, okay, mm, maybe by being a, a, a technologist, medical lab technologist, I think there's a degree for that. And if you are the, uh, a scientific officer, or if you are doctors yourself, yes, so we can deal with that. But uh, uh, I think in, uh, for me, or, or if I can say for my staff, lah, and I think other staff as well, <laughs> uh, they are very scared of a transfusion lab. Why is why you know why is that? Because um, the risk is higher, of course. And like in other lab, if let's say you switch the patient sample and whatnot, they do not know what we uh, the error is there. Let's say error is uh, er error happens, we do not know. You have mixed the sample. For all we know, okay, this is the patient uh, 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 result, and result may be you know higher or lower, and they treat for you for that and. Maybe it will just quiet, nobody knows anything. But in blood transfusion lab, the, uh, if the patient, you know, before is a, uh, you, you have mixed the sample and whatnot, whether it's at the lab or whether at the bedside in the ward, and we give the patient different blood group. And later on, when we investigate, oh, actually patient have different blood groups. So that's why that is the scare, because we are afraid of error, error that can happen because we are humans. So uh, for high turnover uh, workload in uh, in the lab where is the high workload, they have automated machine, but in moderate to medium, maybe they don't have automated, so you do it yourself. But actually, it's very interesting. For me, it's interesting because um, uh, it's, uh, it's not automated. Uh, or if it's automated, you have this kind of, uh, 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 what do you call that, problem, like discrepancy, you have... You have to think, you have to resolve it before giving the right blood. So, some of my MLT came to me, dia nak, dia suka duduk dalam transmission lab because suka, dia kata dia guna otak dia, daripada dia duduk campaign, just like, you know, macam robot je masuk. <laughs> okay. yeah, that's kind of thing lah. Tapi if you berminat, I think itu, there are courses that you can apply, you know. Tapi ni dah, dah the faculty dah kan, final year, right? Second year and third year, yep. Second year, third year. Maybe a researcher, I don't know. And True. You? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at the first place, what make you what makes you um interested to specialize in pathology? Hematology. <laughs> no, I think because of the it is very interesting um because we know that uh blood is a very interesting things that we have to be careful of. So what makes you um, decide yourself decide to majoring in this kind of field? Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, to tell you the truth, you know, being a doctor and all, actually I am, I like uh, treating patient, but when I get married, I have children, then I kasihan lah, you know, because you, if you are on call, you tak boleh balik, you have to stay in on call. This is during my medical years lah, medical, uh, me as a medical officer. So that's why I'm turning to, uh, you know, looking for something that's more relaxed, like pathology and radiology. I was taking radiology as well. But, you know, so I got into pathology, but not for, but I think when you are in the pathology, uh, it's an uh, interesting, in, interesting uh, discipline, meaning to say that, you know, uh, if there's new MO coming to me, I said to them, jangan fikir kita relax in kat sini. Memang lah, sebenarnya memang masuk situ nak relax. But actually, there's work. Anywhere there's work. Yeah, if yeah. you are interesting, uh, you are, you know, you are interested to do your work well, you can help people. Because yeah. pathology, 
cut across the whole board of yep. uh, clinical discipline. So everybody yes, come to us if we yep. apa nama, increase our uh, quality of work, quality of test that we offer, all can get benefit. So yeah. for transfusion, actually, there uh, after I think during um, other other there, there is transfusion medicine. Transfusion medicine specialist now. So there are more specialized in transfusion medicine. During my time, hematologists, we are kita uh, boleh train in hematology and also transfusion, so we can take both. But now there are lots of transfusionists now. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting for you. I mean, like you said previously, that you are part of the team, at, um, especially for any uh, cross what we call what we can call is a cross section or cross field with other. Uh, other specialization as well right so it's very important blood is very important and it's very important um, being within us actually um okay the question from students please saya pula yang banyak soalan macam mana ni apa sudah malu jangan malu malu we have dr azura today with us sampai pukul 4 okay dr azura may i ask what okay i have question here i can read yang tadi. What, okay. What okay. if O positive blood is been donated to some whose blood group is unknown during case of ah, emergency? Yes. Okay. 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 Um, so in Malaysia, uh, bukan lah in Malaysia, in my, uh, in in uh, wilayah tengah we call it, you know, wilayah tengah meaning uh, Klang Valley lah. Klang Valley. So we have this contract to say that PDN is, uh, apa nama, is collecting for us. So PDN will distribute we took a uh, uh, blood stock from PDN, Pusat Darah Negara. That is uh, the agreement. So, except for Ashta, Ashta, they have their own team of collection. Uh, but, uh, so they have their own lah. But in other state, uh, other state, they have this, uh, apa nama, hospital negeri, we call it, state hospital that do the collection and whatnot. So, uh, Dr. Wee Ziyi, uh, all positive blood. So, we do not, uh, we do not, uh, Practice like directed donation. Directed donation meaning to say that I donate my blood, I want to give it to somebody. Some, no, no, we do not do that anymore unless it's a rare blood, like Bombay blood, you know, okay. certain, certain rare blood, like uh, RHD negative blood. So we know that it's a low in stock, so I want to donate and later on. Because when you donate, we have the screening and whatnot. It like takes like a few days, you know, to get the screening to go to comes out so after that barulah you can you know take it go uh, took it uh, transfer it to the blood bank and they cross match and they give it so for massive trans massive hemorrhage meaning that you have like life threatening bleeding a patient can come to you you don't have time to cross match so what we have is what we call emergency o that is what we call uh, we call no sorry safe o sorry safe o emergency o safe o is different safe o meaning to say that uh, the new uh, red cell pet pet cell o which we give to this uh, massive hemorrhage patient that they cannot wait so we cannot cross match so we give them to them immediately to save lives and we cross match them later okay uh, we have emergency o as well emergency o meaning to say that whole blood whole blood o the new less than 14 days uh the whole blood contained all the plasma so it got nta and tb and we use emergency o for uh what we call that exchange transfusion in babies you know so the different emergency o meaning that the whole blood whole blood tu maksudnya they have red cell they have plasma everything so they are the antibody done too. so we tested for that we make sure that the antibody titer is low so that we can transfuse the baby because exchange transfusion of baby tu dia perlu banyak dia perlu semua Kalau just Messi's hemorrhage, it's okay. We give pet cell and then we have plasma and whatnot. Okay. I hope that answer your question. Uh, we ZE. Yeah, we, we do have all big, big hospital, major hospital, we have safe O. We call it safe O in uh, in our hospital. Meaning to say that, ah, boleh lah pakai, you know, call it emergency. Uh, but in Ashtar, they call it emergency O. Uh, tapi we follow PDN. PDN emergency O is lying. You know? Okay. Anything else? Any question? Safe. Oh, okay. Uh, another continuity question. Okay, dah. That there. Okay. Safe O blood is like O and negative blood, right? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. So, any more question? 
Okay, um, in terms of the um, kita punya blood uh, apa tu uh, blood band. Uh -huh. What is the the most crucial blood type that normally we are facing? Okay, thank you, Dr. Maima, for bringing that up. Actually, um, of course. Uh, usually we want O blood group lah because it's a universal donor, right? We can donate to anybody. So we need O. But sometimes, sometimes our A is crucially, uh, can, can be crucially low, you know. So I encourage every, every one of you, you know, provided uh, you have, you know, you are actually 18 and above, dah boleh, certain weights, 45, uh, female, 55 in male if i'm not mistaken your hb is good you don't have any diseases come and donate blood because it's very good because we you know like uh, in western country they target the population how many what percent of the population have to donate uh, but in our country it's still low and with the impact of can kita takut hiv and whatnot so lagi mungkin pull to lagi low so if you are not high risk you know you do not have high risk lifestyle, macam tukar pasangan ke whatever not ke. Why don't you come and donate? Because why? Donate blood ni bagus. Um, in some studies said that uh, this, uh, it can have cardioprotective uh, effect. It, it, it protect your heart. And also it's lower the malignancy because they have study from orang yang tak donate, orang yang donate, the malignancy, malignancy uh, prevalence, incidence is lower in patient yang donate i would say because you are getting all uh, getting rid of your old blood because your your blood ni dia dia akan eventually the uh, apa nama half life dia like four months right 120 days so eventually dia akan hilang juga ini ganti yang baru so why not you donate you know bila you donate you nanti you akan uh, trigger your stem cell to produce the more jadi you are more sihat lah more healthier so if you can why not you donate and Lagi bonus, boleh kurang sekilo, dua kilo, you know, because it's like you're running berapa kilometer, you know, calorie, you are burning your calorie even more. Uh, I donate dah, you know, but uh, my blood group ni tak adalah orang suka sangat kan, AB kan. <laughs> oh, but I am a universal uh, plasma donor lah. Kalau AB is a uh, universal yes. plasma donor because it doesn't have antibody. But if you are O or A, blood group B or what not, why not? You know, you are... I think Dr. Mohaimin dekat Terengganu kan, dia, dia selalu help, apa nama, uh, blood drive, I think. Betul-betul. Uh -huh. uh, I think last last year we had twice already uh, blood donation day uh, dekat UMT, University of Malaysia Terengganu. Twice. Okay, good. Bolehlah nanti lagi ramai. <laughs> okay. 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 Any more? Senyap je ni. Ay, dah jumpa doktor sendiri tak nak tanya pula. Ayok. Tak apa dah tahu. So any more question for you guys? We have another nearly 10 minutes before. How about people with thalassemia? Can they donate? Oh okay. If thalassemia um, actually because kita kena tengok dia thalassemia major ke minor but usually uh, kita tak terima lah. Yeah, thalassemia. They have to they have to take care of themselves, you know. So that's why uh, kita sekarang kan ada form 4 punya program. Form 4 ni starting, form 4, uh, uh, thalassemia screening for form 4. We started in 2016. So we hope that uh, kita select certain murid-murid uh, uh, di all all negeri, uh, all states and kita, kita screen. So we hope that if you know that which, uh, whether you have a, uh, apa uh, thalassemia are you carry or what not so that you don't marry each other lah macam tu lah mm -hmm. so that we are hoping that the birth rate of thalassemia major which is transfusion dependent tu akan turun yeah, because yelah beban kan ha, beban pada ibu bapa beban pada negara dan sebagainya so, kita tak nak lagi suffer lah apa faktor yang yang cause thalassemia I mean kalau uh, in order to do so sebab even Kementerian pun nak mengurangkanlah kadar tu. 
Oh, thalassemia okay. tu actually dia uh, hereditary, inherited. Hereditary. Uh, so kalau hilang. boleh kita nak dilute lah pool tu, meaning to say that okay. kalau dia dari yang ah uh, yang tak tak apa nama juga. yang bukan thalassemia jadi ah uh, tak ada lah kan uh, along the way. Uh, kalau yeah. dia ma married uh. sesama dia tu there is a possibility let's say carrier and carrier. Uh, yes. So uh, ada possibility for baby tu every pregnancy tu boleh ada carrier possibility uh, yang 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 tu berjumpa dan menjadi major. Uh, okay. Kalau in um, uh, biasa uh, dia ada alpha, dia ada beta. Kalau di kalangan Melayu uh, biasa boleh jadi beta tal major or E beta. The mak, okay, ayah ada E, HBE, mak ada beta trait nak dikahwin uh, boleh jadi. Uh, kalau Chinese pula sama ada beta tal major biasa atau dia boleh juga alpha. Alpha ni meaning to say that dia carrier, dia carrier kahwin dengan carrier, possibility anak tu boleh dapat. Uh, whether kita panggil hydrofetalis, dia boleh meninggal dalam perut. Yang tu kalau dia dapat deletion lah. Deletion, deletion. Lagi kompleks lah saya nak terang. Uh, yeah, tapi betul -betul. macam tu lah. Hopefully you, you you boleh screen yourself dan tahulah you apa status masing-masing. It's, it's good lah untuk kita prevent orang kata apa lagi, uh, mm -hmm. orang kata prolong punya apa consequences lah. Okay. Um, okay, is there any more question? No more question? We can, we shall let go Dr. Azura. Okay. Shall we, shall we have a photo session, Doctor? Boleh put on dark camera semua. Hakim, Hakim. Hakim. Macam mana nak? You're waiting for Dr. Azura. Ah, okay. Yes, we. Dr. Azura is back. Sorry, my, my son yang I tahu dia yang ubah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Ah, macam itu. So, yang tu kenapa? Berapa orang? Dua, empat. Empat orang kat belakang tu, Fatimah Zahra. What happened to you, Fatimah? Bawa kawan, Dr. Bawa kawan. <laughs> Bawa kawan. <laughs> okay. So, right. Liam, please uh, check whether kawan-kawan dah on semua ke belum. So, those yang uh, live near hospital Kajang, so nanti kalau kebetulan bertemu dengan Dr. Azura, please you can say hi to her. Okay. Ada from Kajang ke, is it? Ada. Anyone from Kajang? Saya semuanya. Ha. Ah. Okay, nanti uh, tahun ni kita akan dapat, you, you see eh, woman and child complex tu. Ha, nanti akan operasi lah Beroperasi lah akhir tahun insyaAllah oh, okay. Yang baru yang baru eh ha, okay. Yang baru Tahniah Dr. Azura and team dan juga semua Okay ada lagi cepat 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 Liam is ready to take our photo Lokman, Maria, Fatihah, Izian Okay, tak ada rakot yang diorang. Okay, Liam. You can count. Okay, done. Thank okay, you. thank you very much, Liam. Thank you very much, Dr. Azura, for your time. Satu jam. InsyaAllah kita akan jumpa lagi pada masa-masa akan datang. Uh, bila nak balik Terengganu, tak tahu lagi. Okay, bye-bye, Dr. Maimah. My okay. good friend. Okay, thanks, students. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you all students. Thank you so much. Okay, kita jumpa thank lagi. Thank you for having me. Bye. Okay.